we're going to do a more intimate comic scene from Falstaff that really just involves Falstaff and two other of the principals. And I hope that by doing the first act of Bocanegra, which is epic and tragic and powerfully dramatic, then the scene from Falstaff, which is so funny, so dirty, so full of wonderful jokes, wonderful tricks, with language of such coruscating brilliance by Boito, some of the words, you know, in the text for a full stuff don't appear in any dictionaries. They're words that come from the medieval period, from a time long gone. And the brilliance of the way Verdi has responded to Boito's words is just fabulous. And the, the way the orchestra and the voices sit together, climaxing in this wonderful aria, again of jealousy. This again ties it in with the jealousy in Otello. And Ford the man who believes that Falstaff is going to bed his own wife and he comes to test out Falstaff and find out whether or not it's true, is so appalled to learn that apparently the first assignation with his wife has already been organised that very afternoon at two o'clock. His own jealousy rises up in him in a comic version of what in the third act of Otello we will see as being a tragic version. And I think the, the way this scene about 25 minutes long from full stuff builds to this great climax is the product of a genius a man who can write a tragedy and then write a comedy in such a different style Verdi said you know that he always wanted to write a comedy he never found the right libretto as soon as somebody could give him a genuine comic opera he would write it immediately and of course many of his operas are full of comic scenes comic characters little deft touches that show he had humour in him and his ability to find a few notes that encompass the fastidious comic nature of a character is there in many of his other operas. But people, of course, when he announced that he was going to do a comic opera, said, oh, he hasn't the ability to do that. He's no experience of writing for comedy, like uh, Rossini. Rossini, you see, had a huge output of operas with as many serious operas as he did comic. But his reputation for so many years was as the composer of The Barber of Seville, one of the great comic operas. Falstaff is different from that. It has memories of old Italy and the Commedia dell'arte in some of the situations. But that's really the, the achievement of Shakespeare, writing his comedy, The Merry Wives of Windsor, on which Falstaff is based. Thank you, John. Uh-huh.